Hello, I'm Miss Fane, and today we are going to experiment with foam dowels and foam bevels. Welcome to the shop. Our shop has a variety of materials. We have our bevels, which are just triangular pieces, which are perfect for the end of a foam prop. Rule of Warcraft armors are mostly done by, with these things because they are great bevels at the end. We also have foam dowels, which are the round tubes, which are perfect to use for steampunk and other things. Now, there are more materials on the way, but they are a secret for now. The first thing that I'm going to make is a simple slot machine. So I just took a piece of foam, I'm going to cut this out and I'm going to use the dowels to create a slot machine. So these dowels are round, but if you cut them in two, then you have half dowels which are perfect for the edge of your foam. Then you can smear contact cement on one end and paste it on your foam, and then you have an edge, which is rounded, which you don't have to shape anymore. Up next, we will use our pieces of foam that we cut before, and we're going to make something else. Now, if you want to create this post-apocalyptic effect, you could just use contact glue because it will just dry and after, if you paint on it, it will look like rusted metal if you don't just add some brown points into it. So here you have the dowels in a more wasteland setting. Up next, we're going to make a small gauntlet piece with our bevels. Now that we have finished this part of the gauntlet, you guys know how to make your costumes more edgy. Okay, and then the last thing that we can do with these dowels is of course make a chain. Of course we, we don't have to sand our foam, so we can use our dowels and then we can add spike to the, uh, spikes to them with the bevel. I could use super glue for this, but I don't have it at hand now. But I could just use contact cement on both sides of the dowel, and then I'll just place, this, uh, place the spikes on there. Okay, so we've primed our different pieces with some acrylic and flex bond as primer. Now that these are dry, we're going to start painting and making them really beautiful. I'm going to apply a metallic look by using rub and buff. I'm going to use a silver one to create this more metallic look and the Spanish copper with a more rusty look. So for the shading I'm just going to use a bit of oil paint because you can just smear it on, wipe it away and you've weathered your piece of armor. And we are done! We've used a variety of painting techniques to create four individual cosplay props. Now if you want to try it yourself go down in the description where you will find a list of all the materials that we've used. I thank you for watching, I'm Miss Fane. Until next time.